Kate Kelty, 37, announced she is now cancer-free as fans were updated on her journey on the fundraiser website set up for her, which has collected more than $37,000. The actress, who is known for playing Michelle Scully on Neighbors, had been diagnosed with extremely aggressive stage 4 breast cancer which had spread to other parts of her body, including her lymph nodes, blood and hip bones. But now, the GoFundMe website has been updated with the good news after Kate responded well to the treatment. Kate wrote, I recently received results of my latest scan and was told that there had been a complete metabolic response to diseased areas. In other words, it seems I am cancer-free. Kate's uncle Michael told Daily Mail Australia, All I know is that she qualified for a particular type of treatment and had it. When she went back with her mother and father, the doctor said, It's gone. It's completely gone. They didn't know what they were hearing when they were told. They said, what do you mean, it's gone? He said, it's completely gone. Kate had announced her diagnosis back in November 2022, with the GoFundMe page stating that her cancer is aggressive and has spread to her lymph nodes, blood and hip bones. The message read, our beautiful Kate is going through the unimaginable. She was recently diagnosed with stage 4 breast cancer. Don't miss! Rod Stewart's wife Penny Lancaster reacts as he gets bold new tattoo, update, John Irwin describes crazed and panicked run for train amid chemo, insight, Colleen Nolan frustrated as loose women co-stars question her lifestyle, latest. Her cancer is extremely aggressive and it has spread to other parts of her body, including her lymph nodes, blood and hip bones, known as metastatic cancer. This week the fight of her life begins as she starts chemotherapy. The page, which was set up by Kate's friend Ebony Gilbert, added, she will lose her gorgeous hair and cannot carry children in the future. This is devastating news for anyone, let alone at the age of 36, with no family history of breast cancer. Kate will then require chemo infusions every three weeks for the rest of her life, and potentially radiotherapy and surgery too.